Hey guys, and welcome back to another Daily Gamer Update. First up in Overwatch news, with Season 1 coming to a close on the 18th, along with the release of the new animated short, The Last Bastion, changes are on the horizon for Season 2, starting with changes to your skill ranking. Going from a 1 to 100 point scale, to a tiered scale with points from 1 to 5,000. The tiered ranking leagues include Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Master, and Grandmaster. Unlike Blizzard's other ranking systems, once you achieve a new tier, you will not lose placement in that tier, with the exception of Master and Grandmaster. That means once you reach Gold or Diamond placement, you will not be able to backslide out of that tier. Other most welcome changes to the game include the removal of Sudden Death and Coin Flips. Expect some balance changes as well as the addition of Sombra to the lineup. Also, the possibility of a new map before the start of Season 2. A new Fallout DLC has been announced, Nuka World, which boasts four unique zones, a new gang, and lots of silly nonsense. Some of the new things to do are hunting, exploring, rides, games, and prizes? I mean, honestly, I think this DLC is completely unnecessary. Sure, it could be a little bit fun. It really depends on how much you're going to charge for it. As I see it, none of the DLCs for Fallout 4 have really been planned, and they've just kind of been, oh, well, that sounds like a good idea. This kind of just seems like an attempt to get a little bit more money out of Fallout 4. But hey, if you are excited for it, let me know down in the comments. One of the first big events to pop off at Gamescom will be the Titanfall 2 multiplayer livestream. The Titanfall 2 Factions event will pit YouTubers, Titanfall community stars, and pro gamers against one another on the Titanfall Twitch channel going down on the 6th. And it starts at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also announced is Titanfall 2's open beta starting on October 28th for PS4 and Xbox One. Why not PC, do you ask? Dang right, why not PC? The open beta will be skipping PC release for fears of data mining to reveal more than intended before release. Hmm, possibly things like, I don't know, if there's actually a campaign, or if the multiplayer levels just have voice lines added in to pass as a campaign? But who would do something like that? I mean, that's just stupid. Right? Anyone? Another anticipated beta is the release of Battlefield 1 starting on August 31st. This release will be on all platforms. It will most likely be similar to other Battlefield betas, with limited kits and a single multiplayer map, but that is plenty to keep most people playing through the entire beta. We finally get to see if the gameplay really lives up to the sexiness of the trailer. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for today. Let me know how you felt, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, take it easy you guys, and I will see you next time.